popularly known as Yamaka GF. I'm, I'm a script writer, I'm a producer, I'm a director. Uh, I started writing when I was in school. After my secondary school, I started writing. It was in my secondary school days that they gave me the name GF, Golden Finger. So, in my university days, I continued writing. I thought I was going to be writing poems and proses because I did literature. So when I was, but when I was watching Nollywood, I decided to come here. In 2001, on my graduation, 2002, I came into Nollywood. I was coming in for auditions as an actor, but I was aiming somewhere. 2005, 2006, my first script was produced. And then I did the assistant director to my boss, Ikech Koyeka. So that was every other thing become story. It wasn't really hard because as a writer, uh, I worked under so many directors as an assistant director, because once I give you my script, I will ask that I will be around the set as an assistant director. So my script was highly in demand. So I learned a lot from so many, so many directors. Even when I was not yet a director, directors were living set for me. I could remember those days in Enugu when I was working under, he got an appointment in government work. Um, he left a whole job for me. I was still a stand director. He left the whole set for me. I, he did come up to two times on the set, but I finished the job. So it wasn't a big deal. As I, it was just a normal thing. Because I sat under many directors, they gave me opportunities, so it was not a big deal. Okay, like, it's not as if I don't direct other scripts. I do, but then, you know, when you are writing, you are painting a picture. If you give uh, the same storyline to ten writers, you have ten different stories, ten different scripts. Then, if you give those ten different scripts to ten other different directors, you have ten different themes. You know. So when I'm writing, I'm already painting the picture. And the directing it is that I'm getting the picture I was painting. Or someone would have directed it and painted a different picture. When I, when I was still assistant director, I've, I've had places where I wanted it to be this way. But I, um, because I, was, I wasn't the director on set, the director said, no, this, doesn't, this is what I want. But as a writer, that was not my picture. Well, since it's direct now, now it's, I'm not in charge. Uh, just let it be. Sometimes I'll be watching a movie that I wrote. Sometimes I, be, I feel like crying. So, because the director went on to paint his own picture. But now, I am painting the picture I wrote. So, I feel, I feel fulfilled. I, I can't... I stopped keeping count years ago, but I know I've done more than 50 movies as a director. The most challenging one is uh, The Return of Eriko, The State. I did a movie, Eriko, King of the Jungle, and uh, it was an action film. It was my third movie as a director, my very third movie. So it was good. The, the marketer we were, was uh, impressed. I wanted to do the return of Erico. So I have to raise the dike. So that, was, that has been the most challenging film to shot in Calabar. I had to meet uh, the commissioner of police to cross river. I was going to set every day with five police vans, 25 policemen, 15 AK rifle and five uh, pistols every day. It was a good film, 
and uh, I thank God it came out very well. Yeah. So many things here anyway. But the, the most prominent one is when I'm trying to tell you how to get it right. And you, you assume you know it better. Or you assume you understand what I'm saying. Or trying to, if I'm trying to express myself and you wouldn't allow me to express myself and you still go on to mess up. It, it, it surely must turn me up. I'm trying to tell you this is how you do it. Maybe you know, to, to you, you, know, you believe you, you knew what you were doing or you, you already understood what I was saying, even though you had not. And when on action, you do the wrong thing. No, 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 I won't, I won't take it. I did literature. My secondary school literature was my best subject. In the university, I did English and literary studies. So when I see your script, I will assess your literary level. Yes, I will assess your script. Is it your characterization, your plotting, your theme, and your setting? If, if they are not consequential, I might not read it to the end. I must, I must assess your literary level. Anybody can pick up pen and write. Anybody can press the keyboard and write. But then, are you a writer? So I'm script, I can't, I can't read. There are scripts that I've sent to you that I didn't read up to 10 things. Yes, because from the, from the beginning, you just know that this person doesn't know the job. Do you understand? So if, I, I find out that you are, you are not knowledgeable in literature. You shouldn't write. That is my own belief. All right, we are working on uh, this um, sacred evil. The sacred evil is a story about uh, a generation where a woman endowed with supernatural powers. She, she gives birth to another woman supernaturally without meeting any man as a virgin. The woman and transcend all the powers to the to the, the virgin. When that one comes up to age, she will still give birth to another woman the supernatural powers as a virgin. When he came to this particular Muamala, she now falls in love. She's not supposed to have carnal knowledge of any man. She now falls in love with a guy. The guy has been a, a Casanova. He has been playing with the hearts of maidens in the village. And this was the particular guy, this girl falls in love. And the, for them to retain that their generational powers, she doesn't need to have sexual knowledge of any man. So she was struggling because she was having urges. She wants to be with the, with the guy. She loves the guy and everything. She was struggling at everything. The guy was not even helping matters. The guy, the, the guy did the, the her. The guy was even coming. You understand? At the end of the thing, she now fell for the, for the guy. And the girls were angry with her. They, they strike her dead. You know, you must, you must have this talent before you now develop the talent. You understand? Some, some people, if you don't have a calling in this, if you don't have talent in this, don't just jump into it because others are doing it. Maybe because that's what you fantasize. Like someone, you know, you can't sing. You don't have any talent, you don't have any calling in singing. Or because you just want to be a music star, you not venture into singing. Chances are that you will not really make it. You'll be frustrated. I believe that everybody has his calling, everybody has his destiny. And this shows in your talent. 
if you are able to discover who you really are, what is inside of you, if it is, if you, if you have a part in filmmaking, I'm telling you, not, nothing can stop you. It's only you that can stop you. But if, if you don't have the talent, you will find out that you're struggling and struggling, and uh, at the end of the day, you, you, you're not making any headways. That's my, that's my advice to young people. Examine yourself very well. Your talent could be somewhere else, and you, are, you, are, you want to be a filmmaker. At the end of the day, you, you end up in frustration. All right, my name is TF Emeka Nakiye, aka Emeka GF. I'm a filmmaker, scriptwriter, producer, director. Keep watching Tribe TV. <laughs>